Final farewells. First, uh, NASA Scott Tingle, now Norishige Kanai of JAXA. And the new station commander, Anton Shkaplerov, saying farewell to Mazurkin, Akaba, and Vandahai, who will momentarily make their way through the hatch into the Soyuz MS-06 spacecraft uh, to close the hatch and uh, make final preparations to suit up and undock from the International Space Station just about three hours and 13 minutes from now. And Shkaplerov has now closed uh, the hatch on the Poisk on the Poisk side of the docking interface. We are uh, standing by for the physical separation and uh, the SSVP mode uh, is uh, complete. We are receiving image. It is stable. Undocking is confirmed. Mode, uh, Undocking confirmed at uh, 5.08 p.m. Central Time, 6.08 p.m. Eastern Time as the Soyuz MS-06 and the International Space Station flew 252 statute miles over southeastern Mongolia. Now a wide-angle view uh, from the external Soyuz television camera. Just below the crosshairs, you can see the uh, Poisk module docking port from which the Soyuz just separated. Undocking again occurring at uh, 5.08 p.m. Central Time. And the first of the two separation burns underway, this is an eight-second burn. It is not illuminated anymore. And uh, that burn now complete, everything nominal. And the Soyuz now going into a roll program for the correct orientation for the second of the two burns coming up about 90 seconds from now, which will be a 15-second burn. Uh, to further increase its opening rate from the station by one and a half meters per second. We see the joint vessel in attitude. Yes, we confirm, uh, and we also see joint vessel. Twenty seconds uh, till the second burn. We confirm. Yes, работа ДПО. ДПО operation is on. The second. Uh, in the pair of separation burns now underway, this again a 15 second firing of the thrusters. And the second of the two separation burns complete. Everything looked great. So uh, the opening rate now increasing between uh, the Soyuz and the International Space Station. You see the full complex in view from the Soyuz external cameras as uh, both vehicles pass uh, over the far eastern coast of Russia over the Sea of Okhotsk. And there's a view of the Soyuz from external cameras on the International Space Station. Now we have 
transition to the first manifold and sending the eight command. Copy. And uh, there it is, Soyuz MS-06 back on Earth. The official touchdown time was 8.31 p.m. Central Time, right on the dot, right on the money, and it landed in an upright position. The uh, large orange and white parachute uh, billowing nearby, but there uh, is your spacecraft with its three occupants back on Earth, Alexander Mazurkin, Joe Acaba, and Mark van de Heij back on terra firma after 168 days in space. And now uh, the all-terrain vehicles are repositioned uh, close uh, to the uh, descent module, a great view of um, the Soyuz MS-06, and you can see that uh, ladder set up uh, alongside of the uh, spacecraft. The crew will be extracted from the top of the Soyuz. Alexander Mazurkin, the commander who's in the center seat, will be the first out. I expect to find out shortly, but last word, the nominal plan is going to be to have the crew go to just his gun. And it looks like there we go, our first crew member out. Looks like we got Mazurkin coming down the slide first. And so with that, our, our center seater, our Soyuz commander is out. He's going to get carried over now. They have the stairs set up already just a few feet away. And next up, our NASA crew members will be coming out shortly. Joe Acaba out of the uh, Soyuz spacecraft, uh, having completed his third flight into space and a total of 306 days in space. And uh, the Gagarin cosmonaut training aircraft uh, will be dispatched from Karaganda to the Jez Kazgan airport uh, to uh, receive the crew as uh, Van de Heij and Acaba will board that NASA jet in Jez Kazgan for the trip back to Houston. Mazurkin will board the Gagarin cosmonaut training aircraft for the flight back to his home and his training base in Star City, Russia. And there is Mark Van de Heij, all three crew members now out of the spacecraft. Welcome back.